Well, hello again. How are you today? I am doing just awesome. You know, after yesterday's uh, video about sexiness, I was trying to come up, you know, like to level up a little bit more. And I came up with the topic of 10 reasons to keep your man happy. <laughs> Now, y'all probably saying, well, what makes she think she's qualified to tell somebody to keep my man happy? Well, I have a lot of experience with men, okay? I'll put it that way. That's why 95% of um, my fan base is men. I do have some female associates, but, you know, once they get married or they be in relationships, I don't hang around, but... I'm still there when they need me, if you know what I mean. Okay? It is a um, wonderful day here in North Carolina. The weather is beautiful. So as I was walking, I normally take like a little, you know, short walk, I was thinking. And, um, you know, they say that number one way to win a man's heart or to keep him happy is through his stomach, you know. But I got I to gotta spin on that. You know, if you really want to keep your man happy through his stomach, make sure that you're feeding him healthy food. Okay? Not that's going to um, feed his diabetes or high blood pressure or things like that. Um, because love does come through the food. <clears throat> it really does. And because I love a man that can cook. Oh, that's one of my things. That's one of my weakness. I love a man that can cook. So number one way to keep your man happy is through his stomach. You know, feed him. You know, it's okay to give him a little treat or something like that. Like if you're, um, if he has sugar or something like that and you're monitoring, you know, his blood pressure or you, not you, but the both of you. Okay, because you're the one that's cooking. And Keep it interesting. Don't give them the same old thing. Fried chicken, greens, macaroni and cheese, bacon and eggs every day. That, that gets boring, you know, especially when you're married <clears throat> or even if you're dating. You know, um, I, I don't know about people that shack up, you know, but um, just keep it interesting and healthy as much as possible. Okay. Now, number two is to keep your house clean, <laughs> okay? Keep your house clean. Men don't say anything, <clears throat> excuse me, but unless he's a slob himself, you know, but men, some men don't say anything, but men really like when a woman um, keeps the house clean, especially the kitchen, the bathroom, and the bedroom. Well, basically the whole house or the apartment. Because if you keep your house clean, number three to keep a man happy is your body. Keep your body clean and ready at all times, if you know what I mean. Okay, keep it ready. Keep it nice and clean. Keep it ready. <laughs> I'm being serious. And y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Men and women. You know, another thing, number three, is don't juggle, you know, with the money. If he give you money to pay and take care of bill, do it. Because some women that y'all know, and the men know too, they be like, well, I'm, I'm going to get this money on Wednesday, but I need me some bundles, or I'm going to get my hair done, or it's a sale, and I'm going to pick this up. It's not that much money, you know. If, 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 once you juggle and you take away from one thing, you can't make that up, okay? If you if you spend a hundred dollars, you juggle a hundred dollars, and you know you got three hundred coming in, do you really think that you're replacing that hundred dollars? Because you're still going to be less that hundred dollars, and you still got to continue to juggle it, okay? And it's very important for a man to be able to trust his woman, you know, with his money. They don't do it like they used to back in the older days. <clears throat> Excuse me. They don't do it like they used to do it in the back older days. You know, the man used to bring the whole check. Some men do. You know, you still have some men that does that. 
but very few are doing that now because you know women get so in, you know enticed or um tempted to do so many other things you know with the money and um that what causes a lot of you know um bad taste in you know relationships or marriages you know um but anyway keeping up the vibe <laughs> Communication. Communication is very important. You have to talk. Don't look at how your mother or your grandmother um, take everything and, you know, put it under, brush it underneath, sweep it underneath the carpet. You know, talk, communicate to your man. Um, if you cannot talk to him and be honest, something is terribly wrong. Something is terribly wrong. If you can't communicate and be honest. Get that stuff out, you know. He may not respond how you want him to. And he may not respond when you want him to. But the key thing is communicate that you told him the truth. And that is what's important, okay? Another thing to keep your man happy is to keep your family and your friends out of your business. It's one thing I cannot stand is when mothers... All up in your relationship, you know, and I'm be like, okay, I'm looking at your relationship with dad or your relationship with your man. You know, keep keep your mother, your aunt, your grandmother, all of them, your friends, your girlfriend, keep them out your business. Now, if he's abusing you, you know, and hurting you, you have to tell someone. And matter of fact, forget telling someone, I'll be gone. Shut the door. I'd be like, oh, see you later. Because I ain't got time for that. You know what I mean? But, you know, keep your family up out of your business. I mean, it's okay to have like a little confidant friend, someone to talk to. But um, the best person to talk to is in prayer and meditation. Okay? That's the only person that can help you in situations like that. But if you're in that kind of situation, I'm talking about people that's been together for a while or just starting to date. And, um... You can feel a little bit of um, change or turn around, bored, being bored or a little bit disappointed or disgusted or a little bit like, okay, what to do next? And, you know, because <clears throat> people change daily, daily. And people change through experiences or, you know, things that they see or conversations. That's why you have to make sure that you communicate, you know, with your man as well. Now I'm talking to the ladies, but also men, you know, these are qualities that you can share um that you're looking for in a woman as well. Or that you can't really articulate it, but you know, in your mind, you know, this is what you like. Okay. And um ladies listen to them. You know, don't be nagging. Call them all different kinds of MFAs and MOLs and all that kind of stuff. I, no, I don't even like to hear that. I don't like all that nagging. Some women just yeah, 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 yeah. shut up. Be quiet. Go in a closet. Go take a walk. Go throw some rocks or something. <laughs> you know, men don't like all that nagging. Just listen to them. Mm -hmm. And then again, like mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. A lot of times people just, they're not really listening. They just want to hurry up and get through what you got to say because they already have in their mind what they want to say, which is really interrupting you. But listen to your man. Don't nag with him. Because guess what? You keep nagging at him. When he go out that door, oh yeah, he might come back, but he going, he going somewhere where somebody will listen to his heart. Because when you interrupt a person or you respond like that basically what you're saying is what you're saying is not important to me what i have to say what i feel is important but when you're in a relationship it's not always about you because the most way the best way to have a healthy loving relationship is to try to out love each other not out think not out slick not outdo not tap for tap i can't stand when people do tap for tap <clears throat> she did this to me. I'm going to do that to her. That is so immature. You don't even need to be in a relationship because you're not mature enough to be in one. 
Okay. Also forgiving. Forgiving. If he does something that you don't like and you continue to be with him and you tell him that you forgive him, forgive him. Don't wait until you get mad to try to throw it back up in his face. Because that's not forgiveness. And the forgiveness is not so much for him, but it's for you so that you can move on. But evidently, if you're not forgiving him, uh, you haven't even forgiven yourself because you're still stuck when you keep throwing it up in his face. <laughs> okay? I'm just giving you a little brief, you know, little um, suggestions, a little advice. You know, throw it out there for you. But um, at the end of the day, number one thing to keep your man happy is to respect him. Some women cuss their men out in public. They be walking all on the other side when they're supposed to be walking together or walking way ahead of him and leaving him on the phone, disrespecting him, talking to other people on the phone. This mother so-and-so, he did this. He did that. That is so disrespectful. Stop that. Grow up. Okay? And if you can't even do these little 10 basic things, you don't need to be in a relationship. You need to find yourself. <laughs> Seriously. And men, if some of these qualities that you don't see in a woman and you just realize that um, these are some of the things and qualities that you like in a woman, talk to her about it. You know? Talk to her about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat is so hoarse. I've been talking all day today with the radio, on the phone, and now with the YouTube. I'm telling you. But I love it. <laughs> I enjoy it. Um, so with these these 10 um, uh, things on my list that I share with you, um, just think about it. Let it marinate. Okay? Let it marinate. Check me out on... Um, www.blogtalkradio.com The Purpose of Closures Okay? 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Easter Standard Time Check out my website I just wrote a book The Purpose of Closure 10 Wrong Reasons to Get Married mm, Slow motion <laughs> to the left <laughs> Um you can find it on Amazon. And also, um, I'll link it, you know, below. Please comment. I want some feedback. I want to hear your comment. I want to hear your feedback. Comment below. And while you're commenting below, also click that subscribe button and hit that bell so that you can get notifications every time I upload a new video. Besides, I, I need your support. Okay? Don't let me think I'm sitting up here just talking to the air. Just show some appreciation. Because you know what? I appreciate you. I really do. And that's why I like to bring these videos to bring you some, some value. Okay? Because I appreciate you. In the beginning, you know, um, and it's still all about purpose closure. Because you get some closure in my videos. I'll, I have some videos and bring up some things that make you say, Hmm. <laughs> and then whew, you enter into your purpose. Okay. So I really enjoy this uh, quick video, 15 minutes. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. And please share and invite someone. Or if you think that this may um, bring some value to your friend or someone else, share it with them. Share, 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 share. Okay. So until then, you have an awesome and productive evening. Ciao.